you can just see the little holes where they would have had a gate. Uh -huh. So this was the start of the entrance into the what's now the National Park. Uh, and therefore they would have uh, prevented people from going in to poach, um, you know, uh, animals. Fish, animals, whatever, yeah. So give you an idea of what to do. They're strenuous, moderate tracks. This is Torque QRC Waterfall, the highest waterfall in Ireland in this particular section. The waterfall uh, feeds into the Garameen River which comes down from Mangerton Mountain and there's a story that goes with Mangerton Mountain where the local landowner, O'Donoghue was his name, met the devil for supper one night, invited him up to his castle up in the mountains for supper. So anyway, as men are men, they're inclined to always sit down and eventually conversation will get towards politics. So they were discussing the local politics and O'Donoghue did not like what the devil was telling him. So anyway, O'Donoghue, being the fiery Irish-tempered man that he was, decided he really did not like the devil and he clocked him. You know, one day. <laughs> O'Donoghue did have sense and he jumped up from the table and he ran, left his castle, raced down the hill. The devil got himself up, picked himself up off the floor, was infuriated by what O'Donoghue had done. And he picked up a rock and hurled it after O'Donoghue. And the rock jumped, luckily, over O'Donoghue, landed down in the lowest lake of Killarney, and to this day it's known as Devil's Island. Devil's Island. And okay. up above in uh, Mangerton Mountain, we have what we call the Devil's Punch Bowl, uh -huh. which is where this river rises from. <laughs> and we're continuing up on this trail. It was once a little lookout place that could have been used for hunting or for tea. Covered in St. Patrick's cabbage. Straight ahead of us is so-called Purple Mountain. And down below it, you said, is Eagle's, Eagle's Nest. Why Nest. is it called that? It's called Eagle's Nest because that's the last place that eagles, golden eagles, were known to be nesting in Ireland. And now we're trying to reintroduce eagles and they have been reintroduced into this area. Right below us is Muckras Lake, which is the middle of the three lakes of Killarney. And then the bigger piece, the other side Behind of the trees, it. that's the lowest lake of Killarney, which we call Loch Lean. And then you can see a little river that's uh, winding its way under the mountains. And that's the river that leads from the upper lake to the middle lake, to Muckras Lake. And this is where then the three lakes meet together and we call it the meeting of the waters. So the upper, lower and middle are all congregating here. Perfect. You see, we are starting to go down and that is my favorite kind of down where there is a rope. Or sometimes you see chains attached to the side of the mountain. Anything I can hold on to makes me very happy. This handy dandy sign here. See this big red? Red is hardest. Linda <laughs> took us down the hardest way downhill forever and ever and ever. But we're still talking to her because she told us the most interesting stories all the way down to distract us from the misery and the agony. Actually, this was a test to see if the next seven or eight days we don't die on the trails. That's right. I think we passed the test. Thank you, Linda. We made two and a half hours to the old Weir Bridge where all three lakes come together. And this is called the Weir Bridge. This is the old Weir Bridge. Yeah, the old how Weir Bridge. How old is it? And how old well, is it? originally it would date back to the 1700s. Now it's just had huge restoration work done to it, but originally it dates back to the 1700s. The boat that we're going to do tomorrow comes right through here. This is where we're heading now. Oh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to take a boat ride back to Muckras. I remember in April before being in the upper lake fishing. Back to the meeting of the waters. All three lakes begin up in the mountain, come down and then separate into the three.
Tomorrow we're taking a ride of all three lakes. Where we were just standing a few minutes ago. We're almost back to where we began. You can see it. The Herberts would have, who own Muckross, would have used it. What is your name? John. Thank you, John. And John was the boatman and look for him over here. Is that correct? Right here at the boathouse. Do you also do the Three Lakes trip? We do. He does the Three Lakes. You heard him everything.